All praise is due to the Most High. We got our brother Kabar. We got the mighty Abiel. And we got the mighty Jojo behind the camera. Right? We're about to blaze these streets. Right. So what we got, what, what happened this week? Um, you got the Montgomery, uh, Alabama, where Esau was getting beat. Right. Right? And you got, you got, hold on. You guys got a minute? Any questions? And you got what happened in Hawaii, that you guys getting torched out there. And that's just a glimpse. The most high to give you a snippet of what he vouched to do. Now you're all right. Matter of fact, you got a minute? What color is Jesus Christ? According to the Bible. Give me, um, what I want to start with. Do we want to go with the Montgomery or the Hawaii? I think I'm going to go with the Hawaii. Go to the, uh, the day of the Lord. Matter of fact, give me um, Psalm 68 and 11. Nehemiah 1 and 5. We're going to start off with that. Because that, that little Hawaii fire, wildfire, that's just a glimpse of what the Most High is going to do to Babylon the Great. In Revelation 18. The book of Psalms, chapter 68 and verse 11. Read out. 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 Read But yeah, so what happened in Hawaii, like I said, it's a um, it's a glimpse. It's a glimpse of what's about to happen. Issues. Hold on. Hold on, it's real. 16 and 20. Yeah. No, we, we shooting from the hip. Come on, you guys got a minute? You got a minute? You got a minute? All right, you see yourself over here, sign that. You see yourself in this sign, sister? On the left side, what they call us. What's your nationality on your father's side? Where you guys from? South Africa. East from South Africa. And where are you from? Mother's from Fiji Islands. My father is Muslim. No, what's his name? What's your father's nationality? Oh, Indian. Oh, East Indian? Indian. South, South, South Indian. So we are we're out here for the for the children of Israel, the so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We're telling them they're the people of the Bible, the people of the book. That's what you read about in the book. Right. And that's that. You're you you might be of of um yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You know, confusion of faces. Hey, spirit bear witness. What color is Jesus Christ? Matter of fact, according to the Bible. We'll see. Let me see something. You got a, you got a, you got a cross crucifixion in your ear. What color is Jesus Christ? Where do you find that at? In the Bible. If I was to ask you that, where do you find that at in the Bible, Mr. Christian? You want to find out for a second? I already know for a minute. The description of Jesus Christ. Well, we're gonna show you. Come back. Come right here. Come right. We're gonna show you. This <laughs> we're gonna show you. What, is, what does Revelation mean? It means it means the revealing, to reveal something. This is the revealing of Jesus to Christ. And then check this out. Do you think that's Jesus Christ? No. And they give that's in every church. We're going to show you that the image, that, that image, that description is not in the Bible. Watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Read out. His head and his hair were white like wool. Jesus the Christ, the revealing, he got white, woolly hair. So who has woolly hair today? What nationality? Exactly. Right. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Right. And his feet. His feet. Like, like your feet. And his feet like unto fine brass. Feet with fine brass. As if they burned in a furnace. They were so dark. That it's like it got burnt in a furnace. So your feet the same color as the rest of your body. Right. So Jesus Christ was a dark, dark, dark man 
with a woolly afro. Right. And the world hates that description of him. Right. That's why they give us a white boy. Right. Right. <laughs> You want to know what the you want to know what the father looked like? The God, God the Father. We're gonna show you that too. Let me just get this from you, and you guys can get up out of here. We're gonna we're gonna give you the God the Father. You ain't gonna hear this nowhere else. The Book of Daniel, chapter seven and verse nine. Read I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit. Ancient of days, because God is before day. He made days. He made time. So this is the ancient of days. This sit. He got a body. Whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head. God, he got hair. The hair of his head, like the pure wool. Like what? Like the pure wool. God got pure wool hair. Right. What are you reading? The Holy the Bible. Holy Bible. You never heard that. Hey, you guys got a phone? Scan that QR code and you guys can go. And you'll learn more. Just scan it, subscribe, you'll see our channel, you'll see yourself on there, you're going to see more stuff, and that's that. Let me see, bro. Hold on. Don't, don't try to trick it. You popped up? Subscribe. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, y'all. Have a good day. What's your name, brother? Marvin? Yeah, all right, sister. All right, sister. Y'all be good. All right. Shalom. Shalom. He already know. He know a little bit. Let's get it. See? See? That's why we out here. We out here. Each one teach one. Right. Hey, you guys. Becky's. Becky's. And hey, you guys get offended at that if we call you Becky's? No, no. You know? I don't like her. You like her? Where are you from? I don't like her. She don't like her. That's what she said. Hell, hey, all right, uh, CJ20. They be getting wild out here. They be getting wild. So you know somebody else like that would have got on the East Indian. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Probably had to beat the boy up. Yeah. You know? See, we, we, no see, 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 we, and we bringing out a different spear. You don't just got to be slamming the heathens on their goddamn head all the goddamn time. Right. You know? Right. Edifying. This is a big book. Every nation's in this book. Remember, um, our forefathers taught Ishmael. That little uh, false prophet Muhammad. That's why he was pumped. Yeah, he heard about He was like, oh, I'm in there. Yeah, he was like, I'm in there. So every nation is 80. It's you Israelites. You guys teach 18 nations. You guys always teach that. 18 nations. We teach the 18 nations. They lit. Like we, we taught the little Ethi, the Kushai yesterday. We showed them, had them read it. You know, Elam. Elam is in here too, even though they're going to get destroyed. Uh, Moab, Ammon, they're all in here. You just gotta get your um your um your study yeah they'll do your precept study game up right read the book of Psalms chapter sixty eight and verse twenty read out he that is our God is the God of salvation and unto God the Lord and unto God the Lord belong the issues from death. The issues of death belong to the most high. I was looking at the news. They said they said one of them um But and look, look, the, the woman in Hawaii, she 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 hopped in the water, right? She hopped in the water and, and was about to catch hypothermia. And then she she tried to go to the to the shore, but the shore was on fire. So every time she would go to the shore, she would get burnt. Then she had to go back to the water, but then she'd get frozen. Then she had to go get back, then she'd get burnt. Then she'd get frozen. That's a judgment from the Most High. Issues of death from the Lord. That's a horrible thing to experience. Imagine that. You're fucked. Water and fire. Do I do I get frozen or do I get burnt? What would you pick? Do I become an ice cube? Yeah, do I become, do I become an ice night? cube or do I come extra crispy? <laughs> read that, read that 68 and 20 again. Cause the Lord, <laughs> hey, only the most high can set that up. Right. <laughs> the book of Psalms, chapter 68 and verse 20. He that is our God is the God of salvation. And unto God the Lord belong the issues from death. Issues of death. You couldn't, you couldn't make that up. You know who would write something like that? The Most High was up in the heavens, and they was like, how are we going to off this Edomite, right? They are like, guess what? We're going to make her freeze and burn at the goddamn same time. That's clever. Right. Give me a... Uh,
The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2 and verse 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Right, right. See? The most high, he does it all. So when 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 uh, anybody get knocked off, the most high sanction it, right? Give me Job 4 and 7 real quick. If you're gonna hold the Amos, give me Job 4 and 7. I want to show you something. And when you people be getting knocked off, watch this. Job 4 and 7. The book of Job, chapter 4, and verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished, being innocent, being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? When somebody get knocked off, were they innocent? It said whoever pairs being innocent, right? So they did something. You got judged. You got a question? You just listen. I got a question for you. What's your nationality? I'm a black man. You're a black man, so you be from the tribe of Judah. Right. Right? So you should the uh, black is just a color. So you right. gotta be you gotta say this loud and proud. Say I'm from Judah. I'm from Judah. There we go. Right. There we go. Right. You know who else is from that tribe? Jesus. Judah might be from me though. I don't know. No, you know we spring out of Judah. Rick, yeah, Rick. Yeah. Karate Rick, right? See, he got the stick. He got the stick. He got the stick. He ready to, you know, do some tricks with it. But look, you're from the, you're from the tribe of Judah. Some of the some of the we read now. Right, 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 right. But look, so so Jesus Christ is from that tribe. That's a mighty tribe. We got we got a royalty bloodline, right? Not not um, Queen Elizabeth. Princess Diana, that's not right. the royal family. Right. We're the royal family. That's right. 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 And um, what, what do you want to get? Bring me something out. The book of First Peter, chapter two and verse nine. Read out. But ye are a chosen generation. Rick, you're a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. A royal priesthood. And holy nation. A holy nation. A peculiar people. Peculiar, right? That he should shew forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. The most high called you out of darkness. It ain't a coincidence you walked up here and seen this brother, he remember you. It's not a coincidence. He calling you out of darkness and he's bringing you to the light. Because the most high is about to destroy America. Right. Right? And before, right. before he do anything, he sent his servants out to warn the people, just like Noah did. But nobody listened and they all got drowned. Right, that too. And this last time, the second coming, he's doing the same thing. You got to destroy this place by fire. Everybody know that. First by water, now by fire. So he's about to torch this place, set up his kingdom, and that's that. You're part of it, but you got to come back to the Lord. Right. You gotta come. He's not saving a black man. He's not saving an African-American. He's saving Judah, Benjamin, right. Levi, and so forth and so on. Right. So you got so you to come back to your heritage. So we discontinue from our heritage. Give me Jeremiah 17, 4. Right? That's why you say you're a black man. Because you got we got cut off. Right? Watch this. Right. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. No. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. We discontinue from our heritage. Shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. We, we, we all discontinue from our heritage, and we're serving our enemies in this land. That's why we don't know what language we speak. We don't know what we ate. We don't know. We don't know anything. That's a part of our heritage. That's why you came up here and said, "Oh, I'm black." You know. Right. So, yo, I, si I, I sister, that. sister in yellow. You got a mini? I know. I think I know your mom, Miss Smith. Huh? You don't got a minute for the Lord. I have. I got something that I that I like to say this. Um, we want to be with the highest goal to be. We want to be what? Men should always have the highest goal. The highest goal is love. What's love? What's love according to the Bible? 
That's charity. That's talking about charity. That's talking about charity. Yeah, but that's but but in our times, it's the word love, and that's what you got it. That's what God is. God ain't all love. God did. God kill everybody in the earth. What you call that love? He say. So the the Christians say, whoever don't um repent, they going to hell. What you call that love? For the people that's in hell getting getting poked by a red man. The book of First John, chapter 5 and verse 3. Read out. For this is the love of God. For this is the love of God. For this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. That we do what? That we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. Commandments are not grievous. So you got to keep the commandments. Today is the Sabbath day. Right. Right? You got to keep it holy. That's one commandment. Right. It says remember the Sabbath day. God. So remember, you discontinued the team from your heritage, so you forgot the Sabbath day. Now we're telling you it's the Sabbath day, so you got to start keeping that. You that's gotta right. grow your beard out. That's a commandment. Right. That's the that's the love of God. It's that's keeping right. His law, statutes, and com commandments. Give me John 15 and 14. I believe, right? Yeah, 14, 15, 15, 14, something like that. Bro, got it for me. My armor bear got it. Right. Pulling that. Watch this. The book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. This is Christ speaking. If ye love me. If you love me, keep my commandments. What? Keep my commandments. So he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So what's the opposite? If, if you don't keep the commandment, that means you hate them. And that's and, that, and, and his opinion is all that matters. If he feel if he feel like you hate him, if he hold on, he's we're gonna sin. That's why he sent his son to die for our sins. And when he died for our sins, hey, repent of your sins. Every chance, thank him every day when you wake up. Acknowledge uh, the five says Thessalonians five seventeen. Pray without ceasing. Right, right. But Talk to your God. John Talk. nine thirty one two. But, but check this out though. Check this out. So you gotta strive for perfection. Would you say that? Didn't Jesus say be perfect? Right. We're gonna show you. The book of John chapter nine and verse thirty one. You know. The book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect. Red letter. Be ye therefore perfect. Jesus speaks. I apologize. Even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. He said be perfect. He said be perfect. Right. And watch this about pray without season. Watch this. Because if you're not, if you're not being um, sincere, and, 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 and striving for perfection and making excuses. Watch this. The book of John, chapter 9 and verse 31. We know. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. How you gonna pray when he ain't even hearing you? Right. Right? That's what this is what they're not teaching you guys in the blind Christian churches. That's right. You're praying. You don't hear none of us. No, no. The Bible says no, no. all have sinned and come short to the glory of God. What scripture is that? Romans. 323. Oh, he got it. Let's get it. All right, let's, we're about to get that. Not wrong. one of us is good. No, not one. And who was he? Hold on, hold on. I like how you knew that, though. A lot of people don't know that. But we're about to read it for you. That's karate red. Afro so, samurai. So, we're going to read it. 3 and 33? 23. Oh, three. The book of Romans, chapter 3 and verse 23. No. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Okay, now, who wrote that? You know who wrote Romans? Paul. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. Jump up to verse 1. And you know where he got that from? He was teaching from the Old Testament. So who's the all he's talking about? And what is he talking about? Do you know that? We're going to show you. Do you who? Okay, Paul. Hold on. I'm going to give me a second. Okay, where did Paul get that from? He was teaching from the Old Testament. So what is he talking about? I'm going to show you who he's talking about when he said all have sinned. The book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 11. Yea, all, all Israel. Israel? 
O Israel, have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. He's talking about the Israelites. Can you read that verse 12? Yeah. Oh, no. And he hath confirmed his words, which he spake against us. He spoke his words, the curses in Deuteronomy 28, right? So that's what he's talking about. We all fail from that. And he have confirmed his words which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. He brought upon us a great evil, transatlantic slave trade. We, we discontinued from our heritage. So that's all Paul's saying. He, he referenced Daniel 9-11 saying we all, we fail from that. That's why we're in the condition we're in now. I'm going to give you a secret about Paul's letter. Watch this. So what you're trying to say is what he's saying in Romans 3.23 is just because we all have sinned, he's saying that was when Israel transgressed the law of Moses. Not we're all still sinners today. Right. That's why he went that. So that's the proper understanding of that Romans 3.23. It's not we're all Steal sinners. Right. Okay. Right. That's what let me, trying to say. Exactly. Thank you, brother. And let me let me show you a secret about Paul's letters. Get that. I'm gonna show you. Oh, Second Peter. So we don't stay in sin. If you, hey, that's what. That's a trick. That's a trick. Rick. Rick. That's a trick. That's a trick. The devil. He gonna get a high body count to keep you in sin. The devil's gonna get a high body count when this is all said and done. That's what he did to Eve in the garden, right? She said, surely you shall not die. And what happened? It's a trick. You can't stay in sin. You stay in sin, it says the wages of the sin is what? Hold on, hold on. The wages is, hey, 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 check this out. Check this out. You knew, you knew Romans 3.23. I know. Rick, Rick so I know you know this. I'm going to have you finish this for me. Let me, tell you this. Let, me, let me say this real quick. The wages of sin is what? It's death. And what? The wages death. of sin is death. Okay. That's right. So if you stay in sin, what's going to happen? You're going to get knocked off. It is, That's right. it is appointed for man to die once. First, this is the second book of Peter, chapter 1 and verse 21. Read out. Oh, you want the one where he, yeah, yeah. Where Peter said, I'm gonna show oh, you Watch this. the book of Second Peter, chapter three and verse sixteen. And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. This is Peter, the head apostle, right? Even as our beloved brother Paul, he read Paul's letters too, right? Also, according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you. As also in all his epistles, all his epistles and all his letters, including Romans, speaking in them of these things, in which some things are hard to be understood. Some things in there that's hard to be understood. Which they that are unlearned, which they that are unlearned, and unstable rest. And unstable rest means struggle. I mean, you was wrestling, right? But you wrestling with the word, You're like you don't know what it means. Right. Which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures, unto their own destruction. To their own what? Unto Rick's own destruction. So if you keep believing that, you're going to get destroyed. Right. You can't stay in sin. Right. right? You're wrestling with Paul's letters. I bet right. you if we sat here, you would go to more Paul's letters. You would go to more Paul's letters and twist them. Right. right? So you got to repent, brother. Right. And, and, and this is the spiritual realm on earth. This is a fleshly realm. Okay? How do we get the kingdom of heaven? You get to the kingdom of heaven by believing that Christ Jesus died for your sins. See, that's another lie. Imagine 1916. That's it? Just believe? No. Of course you got it. The book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. Read out. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Look, this, should, you this, should be, this should be everybody's question. How do I get everlasting life? Right. You already have it. What shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto
done to him. Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is God. But if thou wilt enter into light. Got a question, sister? Hey, we just, we're, just, we're, just, we're just telling him how to get everlasting life. Right? Do you know? Okay, okay, we're gonna start from the top again. This is how you get everlasting life. Start from the top for the sister too. The book of Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is God. But if thou wilt, Enter into life. Keep the commandments. What? Keep the commandments. He said unto him, which? Let me say this. Jesus said, Thou shalt do no murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You gotta keep the commandments. Okay, so, so that's how you get everlasting life. Can you hear that? Right. So listen, and then for I want the part where he says, Thou will be perfect. Can I say something? Oh, yeah. Okay, so about yeah. the commandments. Now, look, now God knows your heart, period. But if he says, Thou shalt not steal, but in Proverbs, he also says, Do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his hunger. So you, you gotta. You gotta it's different cases, right? Case by case. That's why he's a judge, and he's gonna hear the matter if you're justified or see if you're not justified, right? Already, right? Yeah, you're right. right. But there's a final judgment, right? There's a final judgment. It doesn't matter when you're from forever. Huh? It doesn't matter when you're from forever. So what are you trying to make an excuse to say in sin or something? No, I'm not making it. Yeah. You're trying to make an excuse to say in yeah. sin. Yeah. You're trying to justify your sin. I can't Sister, if you got a question at any time, feel free. If you got no question, you know, you, hey, man, you know what? Sister, you, 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 all you have to do is keep faith in Christ. Watch yeah. this. The book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 12. Read out. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Here are they that keep the commandments and the faith of Jesus. Right. So you're you're making excuses to stay in your sin. Give me my message, my message too. that I got was so, love always, so Rick, and always love. So do you know? And if you know something to be true, believe in it and believe with it and be it to believe. And he says, well, you're listen, get, you're gonna get, listen, 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 learn you're everything. Right, you're going to get, get people destroyed. Listen, you're going to get, get yourself and, all, and people love destroyed love with that message. Right. What did you want to? Oh, 422. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. Slick Rick. Slick Rick. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 22. Read out. For my people is foolish. What? My people is foolish. Slick Rick is what? Is foolish. They have not known me. You don't know them, Lord. I know them personally. They are son as children. Like you, know you know him personally, yeah, I talk to God but you don't keep the commandments. Do you keep the commandments? I, I, I repent of my sins when it's necessary. But do you keep the commandments here or nay? I don't go. No, I don't. Oh. No, I don't. I, I'm not. I'm not a liar. I can't lie. Yeah, that's, that's good. I'm gonna show you something. The book of First John, chapter two and verse three. You And hereby we do know that we know Him. If we keep his commandments, we do what? If we keep his commandments, I, read from the top again. How do we know we know the Most High of the Bible? And hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments, right? He that saith I know him and keepeth not his commandments. Rick is a liar! Right. Is a liar! Right. Is a liar! Right! The Bible just said you're a liar. Right! I never said I was without sin. I never You said you knew him though. Right. You, you said you knew him. him. And you the minute you don't I keep the commandment. So, right. so according to the Bible, right. according to the most high word, you right. are a liar. If you stay in that, you're gonna get put to death. That's right. Point blank. So, right. so now Rick slick Rick. 
I think it's done now. I Bro, I stick a fork in him. I think it's done. I stick a fork in him. I pray to the Lord. I tell him. You might have to beat it. Slick Rick, you might have to beat it. You got a phone? You got a phone? Scan the QR code and you can beat it. You got a phone? Scan that and you can learn more. He's a little proud right now. You know, I'm, pride. Yeah, go, you know, proud, proud, I, pride I, I, go before I, I, destruction. I, you got right. 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 a little pride. You got a little pride. You got a little pride. You know, we planted the seed. We planted the seed. Come on now. You gotta love. He's not a god. Your Christianity doctrine is what God has put in his life. No, it's not. That's that doctrine. That's that doctrine. That's that dark yeah, sound doctrine you. that they taught in the church. It's they taught in what? slavery, bro. What you gotta get out of this Christ, Christ, according to the Bible. Okay, God, man, taught that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, we're done with you. Jesus Christ was mixed with Mid-Eastern. No, he wasn't. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Say it on the mic. Mid-Eastern is Indian. We know from Indian. Yeah. Because he came from Indian. So, therefore, he had a pair of skin. So where can we read? So you said Jesus Christ was mixed with East Indian and what else? Mid Eastern. Middle Eastern. Mid Eastern. Yes. Jerusalem is an Indian Eastern. Okay. He grew with the Egyptians. So I hate to tell you, Jesus had a dark home of albino Indians. So where do where do, where can we read that in the Bible? Where can you, can he prove that? He toured with. The so we're gonna prove we're gonna okay that's your answer we're gonna give you ours right because that's Jesus. not that's false oh, sorry i don't have anything against africa we're not african nah we ain't we're not african we ain't saying that you know this is brought up hey, what, he, watch this we're gonna give you the description of jesus christ out the bible hang around for it the book of revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Read out. his head and his hairs were white like wool he got white woolly hair remember the bible says let God be true and every man or woman a liar. So Jesus Christ, okay, he had white right woolly hair. Hold on, hold on. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. You gotta leave on that note. Right. You let her say her little spiel. See, you're not fair. You're not being fair. You're not being fair. I let right. you. I let you say your spiel. Patient, and you ran when okay. we were saying ours. That's not very nice. That's not very nice, and that's not being fair. That's not. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. Watch out! Watch out! You didn't see. See. Come around this way. Come around this way. It's torn. That's not, what, that's not what we're saying, okay, though. Okay. I'm not going to argue anymore. He's going to keep it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, Becky. All right, Becky. You're in there. Did you get it? You don't want to hear this information. Move your camera out. What's up with you? You got a question? I got a question for you. Okay, so what you what does... Look, you know Jesus Christ is the most famous man in the world, right? right. Everybody knows Jesus Christ. So what does he look like according to the Bible? Right, what would he look like if he was walking today? He look like that man right there. Huh? What would he look like that? Is that Jesus Christ? So what would he look like according to the Bible? If you don't know, say you don't know. And say what you think. And then we're going to give you, we're going to, all right, all right, slip, Rick. So... So look, 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 I'm gonna make it plain. Up here we should be plain. What would Jesus Christ look like if he was walking today? If you don't know, just say you don't know and we're gonna show you. You don't wanna make a guess? An educated guess? Would he look like that? Maybe sunburned because they were in the Who's that, your mom? What, I'm gonna ask mom, mom dudes. What would Jesus Christ look like according to the Bible? She came over here like, hey, picking on my son. Now nah, we ain't picking, we ain't picking on him. We're not picking on him. I know I said, what would he look like according to the, what would he look like? Where are you guys from anyway? What's your guys' nationality? Northern Creek. Northern Creek? Oh, you guys, oh, you guys are Native Americans? No, no, we're I don't know what that is. Well, 
indigenous. It's indigenous though, right? But that's just your specific tribe. Yeah, there's all kinds of things. Yeah. 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 Still, still native. Yeah. So you got to still like Native American, right? Yeah. Indigenous, you got to indigenous to this land, right? Or to yes. Canada. To this. Yeah. So what? So what they would call in America, how they call them? Native American. Right. Yeah. So, okay, so you guys are part of the twelve tribes of Israel, right? You guys, you guys are. You guys are uh, people. Right. Hey. This is for no, I know we had discontinued from our look. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. All right nice meeting you too. Hey, the word ain't for everybody. He says, My sheep hear my voice. Right. My sheep hear my voice. They'd rather be Crete. Mom hates that it's black. They'd rather hear Crete. Hey, that's when the devil came. Because bro was about to get laced. But Mom Dukes came and was like, No, no, no. Mama, Mama Bear came and took the word away. But hey, that's that's what that's that's what the words say. My sheep hear my voice. She took away the word. Oh, we should have bro scan the damn thing. But anyways, it is it's all of the Lord. All right, let's go back to the lesson. Um, we was talking about the Hawaiians when they how they got torched. Um, the city in the Amos. Yeah. What my what, what minute frame I'm at? Thirty six. Thirty six. Damn. Hey, we didn't get to thirty six. Yeah. No. Huh. Hey, I'll be thinking too, like, uh, like, you know, you speaking for Ella and everything. Right. Like, we had even started. It's, a, it's the bottle's half full. Yeah. I might just go to, uh, I wanted to get some fucking say that too. <laughs> the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 6. No. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? See, that stuff that happened in Hawaii, the Most High sanctioned it. Right. Everybody that got knocked off, it was of the Most High. Right. But we're going to switch gears. I'm going to switch gears real quick. I'm going to go into that, um, that little Montgomery thing. Because race wars is bastard. It's un I mean, it's already here, but they're going to, uh, hey, bro, hey. <laughs> <laughs> he still wanna hear the word. He still, hey, bro, 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 bro in the balcony. He still wanna hear the word. See, he still mom, mom snatched it. But look, so race wars is gonna. It's like a woman in travail, right? They they gonna rise. They gonna go down. And they gonna heighten. But at the end, they're going to be full fledged, right? And, and it's a lovely thing seeing our people coming together, beating, beating beating stuff as united, right? But that's right. nothing compared to what's about to happen. Right. You know? Give me um give me um first Samuel 18 and 6. Because you see how they got drill music today? We we we're rapping about um killing each other. You know, you're you're good, you're good. Right? All that's about to flip. Look how we used to. Look how we used to sing and what we used to, you know, uh cheer about. The book of 1 Samuel, chapter 18 and verse 6. And it came to pass as they came when David was returned from the slaughter. David became, um, returned from the what? From the slaughter. So check this out. So David came from slaughter. Made that a slaughter meeting, mass murder. But, and it came to pass as they came when David went was returned from the slaughter of the Philistine, Philistine, that the women came out of all cities of Israel. So the women came out from all the cities. Singing and dancing. They were doing what? Singing and dancing. They wasn't twerking. They wasn't doing none of that freaky stuff. They was doing that good Hebrew Israelite dancing, right? right. Two steps. No two steps. Singing and dancing to meet King Saul. Right, so they came singing and dancing. And what were they gonna do? With deverence, with joy, and with instruments of music. Our sister was happy that the Philistines, which are your so-called Africans today, they got, they got slaughtered, right? So, so you see how they were celebrating, how the ops got knocked off, but now Esau tricked us, now we celebrate 
how we're knocking each other off. Right. So this was, we was, we was making drill music, killing them, right? Off in them. But now it on switch, but it's gonna go back soon. Watch this. Keep going. And the women answered one another as they played and said, Saul have slain his thousands. Right, so they was like, they was making tunes, Saul, you know. He I could, his body. Right, I can only imagine how it was sounding. Yeah. It was, they said from all cities. Right. So, you know, they was thick. Right. Thick, thick, or uh, in abundance. I'm going to say in abundance. Right. Beautiful women with timbres dancing about how we just knocked off the ops. Right? right? They was like, yeah, Saul caught bodies. And when and the women answered one another as they played and said, Saul have slain his thousands, and David his ten thousands. So they were celebrating on how we was knocking off the op the opposition, right? And that's just one account. So you know it was happening all the time. So we, we would make music off of or or often the ops. Right. And that's soon to return. Bro showed me yesterday. The little video of the Montgomery shit. Remember they was, um, the, it was the rap song we saw. I'm proud of y'all. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? That's, yeah, right? Heard, right? That's just a glimpse. That's just a glimpse. You know, there's many songs out about the little Montgomery right. brawl where, where brothers is, uh, is talking about how we was beating them red backs, right? right. They was right. hitting the red backs. Right. Hit whoever's red. Oh, that's, that's what it was. Hit, boom, <laughs> right. boom, whoever's red is getting these yeah. smacked. Man, right. woman, woman in jail, jail. Right. right? It don't right. matter. Give me that uh, First Chronicles 15 and 13, I believe. Oh, that, right. That's soon to come back. And the dash is against the stone. And the Isaiah 13. I'm going to wrap up after that. But yeah, that's a beautiful sight. That's why Esau in their main news, you notice they only show Esau whooping up. E Esau whooping homeboy. They would stop it, right? I noticed that. They only show when he was getting pummeled. They didn't want to. Yeah, they didn't want to show the rest because they don't want you Negroes to get anything, in, any, any, they don't want you to get no ideas. Right, right, right. 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 Yeah. But it's over though, because people got their own footage. First Chronicles um, 15, 13. I think that's what I want. because It might be second, you know, First Chronicles, Second Chronicles. All that stuff be all getting mixed up. 15. Yeah, 15, 13. Yeah, give me that. The book of Second Chronicles, chapter 15, verse 13. Read out. That whosoever, that whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death. Right. Whether small or great. He whether small or great. You know, wisdom rain down skill. So I'm going to use this in the um, Montgomery thing. Small or great. Because they they, he, he banged the old woman with her head. You know, not too many people would do that. The brother smacked her with the chair while she was underground. Right. Uh, she probably had to be like 80. She just got beat up by the women. Yeah, the women, the women was beating her, and he came with the finish her. Right? Finish her. Right. Hey, brothers, how y'all feel about the Montgomery, Alabama brawl? That was beautiful. That was beautiful, right? That was great. Right, 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 right. Here we go. See, see, see. It united. That something that small sparked us. Right. Right. Second Chronicles chapter fifteen, verse thirteen. Read out that whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to that. Right. Whether small, like the lady, or great, like the men. <laughs> Whether men or women. <laughs> small, great, man or woman. Right. The Lord, the Lord ain't discriminating on your age, if you're old, if you're young. Right. And they swear unto the Lord with a loud voice and with shouting and with trumpets and with cornets. And all Judah rejoice at the oath. See, see, we're going to rejoice. We're going to rejoice at it. You mean Isaiah 34, 4, 4, 4 and 6. So, yeah, that was a beautiful day, right? And that's that's just a glimpse. Just like the whole Hawaii thing is a glimpse. That Montgomery brawl 
It's a glinch too. Right. Right? right. How you guys feel about that Montgomery brawl? They don't got no answer. He look like he'll answer. How you feel about the Montgomery brawl? Not sure. Not sure? He saw some good names. He didn't even yeah, he, he already, he, he know it ain't no good answer. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no even a trick if, bag. If he say, man, you guys were right, he's a race trader. Right. Yeah, yeah, he say, man, we should have, yeah. He, he's go, a racist. Right. He's so, a proud you know, white guy. You know, I ain't going to ask that question, you know. You know, because that's going, I ain't going to answer that, honestly, because he's the right, goddamn right, devil that the Bible right, speaks of. Right. right. Isaiah 34 is 6. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34 and verse 4. Read out. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. And the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. World War III, like I said, it's a glimpse of um, that Hawaii thing. And all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the vine and as a falling fig from the big tree. Those are all the missiles falling. That was good, bro. Guys. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Right now we're in the um, so-called white man's heaven. So the sword is going to be bathed in his heaven, right? Right. Be or his kingdom. Right. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Upon who? Upon Idumia. Idumia is the so-called white man. And upon the people of my curse. Because the white people are really cursed. That's why you guys can't stand in the sun. That's why you guys burn up in the sun. You guys got dark, stringy hair. That's how the most high made you. You guys are actually cursed. They try to switch it and say we're cursed, but it's really your curse. Get her, get her on the camera, bro. Becky, you're really cursed. Right. That's why you can't stand in the sun, and that's why you got nasty dog hair. It is what it is. Take it up with the Lord. Read. That's right. And upon the people of my curse to judgment. Right. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is. Yeah. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with the fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats and with the fat of the kidneys of rams. But yeah, so that's something. That's, uh, you got something? We'll get Idumia. All uh, right, yeah, we probably get Idumia out the book to prove who it is, right? The so-called white people, you guys are cursed. You guys are real, the real, they try to switch it to us, but it's really you. That's why we're turning everything right side up. The Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary, page 239. The word Idumia, pertaining to Edom, Greek and Roman name for Edom. So Idumia is the Edomites, which is the so-called white man today. Right. But you guys are the Edomites, the people of the curse. It is what it is. Take it up with the Most High. Give me, uh, I think I'm, I'm done. What, what am I at? 48. 48. So with that. We say Shalom. Shalom. Quam Yashirala. Quam Yashirala. Quam Yashirala. Quam Yashirala. Quam Yashirala.